Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is how not to build a database. I'm, I'm on fire lately with business. I, I've got a lot of consulting, coaching jobs. There's a lot of people that, that are listening to 50mistakes.com, which is my cyber coaching uh, website for restaurants, really any business. I just feel, I feel so motivated when I get to help other businesses, other restaurants, um, other business owners, other managers. I just feel so inspired. Lately, a lot of people in my hometown of Ellenville have really uh, come to me uh, asking for advice. I gave a great speech at a, at a local uh, meeting a couple weeks ago on, uh, we called it Plan B, and it was because our casino here in Ellenville, where I'm from in upstate New York, was denied by, this, by the uh, Gaming Commission. So... Plan B is, well, what else can we do in our in our area to help businesses grow? What else can we do to promote? So I got up and I gave a great speech, and, and I've, said this, I've said this all along to all these business owners, maybe one-on-one, -on -one, maybe in small groups, but there was a lot of people there that night, so a lot of people have come up to me like, Marcus, I need your help in business. I see how successful you are, this and that. It makes me feel good, and that's where my, one of my true passions is, is helping business, helping businesses develop, improve. So a friend of mine said to me, Marcus, I'm doing my database I just saw I just signed up for constant contact constant contacts a group that uh, that does blast emails do group emails don't just send emails out there okay don't don't just gather email addresses and just send emails from one of your own email addresses that you need you need something like constant contact MailChimp one, there's a ton of services out there okay so she goes I signed up for constant contact and I'm adding a bunch of people into my database I said whoa you're adding where are you getting these ads from? She goes, oh, I have this group from this organization, this group from that organization, and these people that belong to this organization. I'm gonna start emailing them all. I said, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I asked, Do you, have those people opted in? Are those people giving you permission for you to email them? And she goes, well, no. I said, that's the wrong way to build a database. First of all, it's illegal. You just can't add people to your list and start just sending them emails, okay? People will not like that, and it's illegal. You just can't start spamming people and, and doing that. Okay, that's not right. The proper way to build a database is in your business. You have comment cards. On your website, you have an email sign-up. You might have a loyalty program. The proper way to have somebody, somebody get into your email list is to have them what's called an opt-in, where they're consciously making the decision to say, Marcus, send me information from your business on a regular basis. However, I wish to receive communications from your business. That's the proper way. The improper way is just starting to spam people and sending them in, a, just adding them to your list and just sending them out. That's not the proper way. You will get in trouble. You will have a lot of people that are going to be pissed off at you. Um, so building a database is super important. I, there's a lot of videos on 50mistakes.com about how important a database is and managing the database, measuring the database, getting that database to perform better, getting more people into the database. Because let's face it, if my restaurant were to burn down tomorrow and I lost everything, I would still have my database because that's in an outside source. Okay. I would still have that database. I still have five, 10,000 people in my email where I can announce, hey, we're reopening in three weeks. We're reopening here. Here's our new location. Help us name the new location. Help us write a new menu. Help us pick a location. Well, we're welcome back. We're open again. That kind of stuff is priceless. If you have, a, if you have thousands of people on a database that you communicate to a regular basis, that stuff is super powerful. That's your biggest asset is your database. So you have to make sure the people that you're getting into your database are qualified. Don't just go out and buy leads, okay? Because there's a lot of leads that are out there. When you sign up for when you sign up for certain emails and stuff like that, it's part of a group. And as soon as you sign up for that, like all of a sudden you start getting spam from everything in that group because they control like five, ten, a hundred businesses or whatever. And you're part of a group now. And you gotta go in there and edit your settings and click off these topics and likes and stuff like that. It, that's so annoying. So don't you be that annoying person who's out there just uncontrollably spamming people and just grabbing people's email addresses. People that opt in, or buying email addresses, I should say. People that opt in that are consciously giving you permission are the ones that are going to be your best 
subscribers, your best database. That's what you're looking for. So be very careful if you have questions on this because there's a lot of legal things that you need to know, just like with text messaging people. Okay, you can't do that text messaging unless people like double opt in or something. It's really complicated, the fines are high. My suggestion is that you go to a company like Constant Contact and they know the laws, okay? They wouldn't, they know, I've talked a lot of laws, with, a, lot, a lot of legalities with them in the past. They know a lot more than you do and they can help you and advise you. So don't just send random emails, don't send group emails out of your, out of your personal email. It's much more complicated than that. That is the wrong way to build a database. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you need some business advice, head over to 50mistakes.com. Check it out. Shoot me an email. Help at 50mistakes.com. Thanks for watching.